Okay guys, I am back with a tutorial. I am I did some chocolate nuggets and I did those for um for a swap, but I kind of showed them ahead of time so I wanted to send her a little surprise. So I decided to make these like um mint packages. So this is one that I completed already. And they just look like that and I think they're super cute. And so I'm going to make one and show you how to make it on camera. I use this and I think this came from Joann's. Um, it's a little scallop punch. And then I use this poster board um, from the Dollar Tree. So you get all these colors, gold, silver, green, all of these for a dollar. This poster board. And I'm going to use some green cardstock. And I also use some red scallops so I just punched out I need uh, I need 13 of them I think so I have one two three four five six seven, ten, eleven so I need two more I'm gonna punch two out so I'm just gonna go like that so I got enough punches and then what I use to glue these on is these glue dots. And this might have came from Joann's as well, but Dollar Tree has some that you can use for a dollar and they work just as well. So what I found is I take this little paper and I go like that. And then I put, oops, and then I put my mint in the center. And then I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to put my mint in the center and we're gonna do four of them and we're gonna put oh this way if you do it from the candy wrapper it kind of opens because it is candy so I put the glue on the paper first and then one more okay once you have everything on the paper so now you have your four mints like that um so you're done with this punch. Now you're gonna push those to the side. You're gonna need to cut some paper down. I'm just gonna use one sheet. And I'm really bad with measurements, guys. So um, I'm gonna try to screw up so you can see. So what do you need from this is, so this is three, this is three and a half, and you need to go one more. So one of the big notches away from four. So you're gonna go like that. And then you're gonna turn it, and this is five and a half. And we're gonna go one notch away from six, one big notch. So you got the little one and then that. I have no idea what measurement that is. I'm so bad with that. So then you're going to center them on your paper. Oh, these look so pretty already. Very Christmassy. And I decided to do them kind of like every, you know, other right, left, right, left. And you kind of put them where you want them. And so once you like them, you're gonna use your dots again. You're gonna pick it up from the back and you're gonna do the same thing. I leave it in, you know, leave them in their space so that you know where you wanna put it back. But they're so pretty and so simple to do. So, and again, you have to pick it up from the paper because if you pick it up from, if you try to do it the other way, it pulls away, so. So that's that, and then I got these bags, and I'm not sure where from. Now I'm just collecting bags. Seems like I get them everywhere. This, but I think this one's from Walmart, to be honest. So you're gonna pick this up, and you're gonna put it all the way through. If you want to decorate the back, you can. I didn't. Actually, I was thinking about maybe sticking a two in front sign. Maybe a two in front on the back of them. I don't know. I haven't done that yet. Or you could put the two in front on the back uh, on the topper. So here is how it looks. And then all you have to do is create a topper. And from these, I didn't do... Oop, I just want to get the air out of there. Um, I really just used some scrap that I had. So I had all this like scrap paper... And so I didn't want to waste it that I'm not currently using, you know, that color in my season. So I took the scrap paper and I folded it in half. 
and you can use scalloped scissors and do you know edging but for this I didn't and then I just put it on here like this and then I'm going to staple one two and then I'm gonna do three so I got my three staples and then I just took my scissors and cut off what I didn't need on this end. So there's the bag. And then I'm going to use these to decorate. I actually like the ho ho ho. Let's go with this ho 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 one. Um, ho ho ho. And then I just put it overneath, over the staples. And. My desk is messy, guys. Sorry. I'm looking for my little washi cutter. So I'm going to decorate it like that. And then I like the whole hole a lot. So I'm going to put it on the top, too. Okay. And then you're going to need some kind of seam or something that you want on the top. Now... You could use another little scallop if you want but to be honest I think that's too big so let's see what we have okay these let's see if this works just trying to find something quick so this came from the DT and we're gonna use this have yourself a Merry Christmas it's the uh, one on the bottom so we'll use this one And then I'm going to put that in the middle, like that. There's a tree in here, so I thought I should use it. It's another tree, so I'm going to use two trees. So you just decorate it however you want to decorate it. This is just what I had close by to show you guys. So this is what I used. Okay. So then you you decorated it. And so it looks like this. So currently I have this one and then these two. And they're so cute. Little mint. So I'm probably going to put two in front on the back. So I'll do that later. I forgot to mention that these are the mints I purchased. They're the real dark chocolate um, containing 66%. I don't know what that is. Um, but they're made with real peppermint oil and they taste really good. And these were $2 from uh, Walmart. So I forgot to mention where I got the peppermints from.